Thursday was all about the appearance of Mendelssohn, the impressive UAE Derby winner who cleared quarantine Wednesday and went out beneath the Twin Spires to train around 7.45 a.m. The Scat Daddy Colt went to the track with three Aiden O'Brien trained stablemates and took a leisurely jog in formation along the outside rail for about a mile and an eighth before reversing directions to canter another mile. It was a humid morning at Churchill and Mendelssohn did get a little warm in his first visit to the track and was quite full of himself coming off under the rider until head traveling lad Pat Keating arrived to take him back home. With O'Brien on the way to Kentucky, Keating spoke briefly with the media after Mendelssohn returned to the barn. Mendelssohn's breeder, Fred Mitchell of Clarkland Farm, was at Churchill to watch the half-brother to Beholder and into mischief train. Well, who would have ever thought he would have been shipped back over here from Ireland and won the Breeders' Cup out in California, shipped back and won in England on the poly track, shipped back and went to Dubai. When they put him on the dirt, he exploded. Mendelssohn is expected to follow the same routine Friday morning. Kentucky Derby favorite Justify had another strong gallop for Hall of Fame trainer Bob Baffert and continues to impress both physically and with the way he mentally handles the hubbub of Derby Week. Kentucky Oaks contender Midnight Bisu blew out a quarter mile down the stretch, while fellow Oaks runner Wonder Godot went a similar pace in her usual strong gallop. We also caught a glimpse of Godolphin's take charge Paula. My boy Jack did not visit the track today following trainer Keith DeSormo's usual walk day pattern. The creative cause Colt will train tomorrow during the early training time on Oaks Day, reserved for Oaks and Derby contenders from 5.30 to 5.45 a.m. Good Magic looked relaxed in his morning gallop for Chad Brown, as did Bolt Doro for Mick Ruiz. Flame Away also turned in a routine gallop for Mark Cassie, while also eligible Blended Citizen was among those we spotted as well. Scratch time for the Kentucky Derby is tomorrow at 9 a.m. and as it stands right now everything looks well with the 20 horse field but we know how quickly that can change so we'll be on site with complete coverage as Kentucky Oaks Day gets underway.